Don in London, hello, it's February 5th, 2010. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my addictive behaviour as a consequence or as an alternative, I suspect, or complementary, was addicted to work, relationships, materialism, all the things society suggested were good for me. Except, I took it to excess, to obsession, trying to be perfect, and the difficulty with uh, a mind which says, I need to be perfect because I feel less than other people, so constantly striving for perfection, is probably, probably the starting point for anybody finding dependence a problem, and then addiction. So, uh, a good addict, in the end, 24-7, addicted to alcohol, and unable to stop on my own and that was a tragedy which and a calamity which I didn't know how to get out of on my own a lonely place isolated still smarting from the hurts of life and you know the burn that comes with defeat very hard to cope with because one doesn't know whether to stay or go that is to check out from life and I don't know how many times I used to wake up thinking, I'm still alive. Why? What can I do? And the simple answer was, I kept on drinking on, in my isolation. And it took everything away from me. It took away the most important parts of life. Family, friends, and an understanding of what love c can be or is. How to love, to be loved, and to love back. All those which are the most important elements of life and have something useful to do. So we could, I suppose in addiction, we, we actually become processors of whatever it is we're dependent on. And for me, alcohol was the, the final, final ending. And it nearly killed me uh, on more than one occasion. So if it hadn't been for family, community, professionals, hospitals, uh, a kind word here and there from people who had a spiritual connection to living I don't know I think I would have checked out long ago and somehow uh, we resilient people who seem to get to a place of sobriety still need help and I realized my moment of clarity was I can't live alone I cannot do life alone it's a very lonely business so family, community, friends, professionals helped me to find that moment of clarity and then I got to a place where I could accept or just simply admit that I needed help and oddly either I found AA, Alcoholics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous found me I think it was probably the latter because I didn't know what to do so I guess the turning point was I couldn't do it on my own anymore and all my life it had always, always been about a stiff upper lip, putting on a brave face and a brittle ego with a, a huge hole or gap underneath which was empty and void of anything to do with love. I'd lost the plot. So these days I find a bit more out about what the plot can be on a daily basis. I simply make progress. It's a constant thing, progress. Uh, it's not about achieving perfection, it's about making what is work, and that is living life as it is in the moment of now. And uh, some discussion over recent days about faith, and faith in what? Simply, it can be faith in people, or it can be faith in a higher power, or it can be just simply faith as it is. Faith in doing the next right thing. Faith in finding the truth of now. And that doesn't mean it's going to be happy and joyful. It also means it's going to be sad and woeful. So we know that we get a balance of good to the good of life and maybe to the learning of life, the sadness as well. And each is spiritual for me because if I experience it in the moment of now, where my feelings are hopefully, rather than sometimes wondering if I felt, if I'd understand my, understood my feelings at the time, would I have re responded differently? Often the answer is yes, because I'm still learning what my feelings are. So life is a conundrum, and it uh, is challenging on a daily basis. So what helps me? AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. 
I put sobriety first so the rest of my life can work and you know my higher power in my life is uh, listening to the wisdom of other people um, understanding that I'm in the moment of now the power of now is simply now being in reality a spiritual connection and as far as God is concerned I could not define God if you asked me to I think to define God or feel to try and define God is to deny God how can we actually define something which is far more than us nature, providence, the universe, all of those things far beyond my ability to define so as far as higher power goes uh, God is truth, truth is something which eludes me on a daily basis God is love and God works through people that's how it works for me, a higher power in my life and it can be higher powers which are around me institutions, hospitals, people with wisdom to share all those things so it all helps my sobriety work and I always put uh, AA first because it's where I get my wisdom to, for sobriety so sobriety is working, the rest of life can work and I can be useful so I share the AA preamble here and I also share one of the readings from the Daily Reflections all about step two of this month in February uh, came to believe in a power greater than me which could help restore me to sanity so the AA preamble goes like this Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And the main part of the toolkit in AA is the meetings of AA. Or it's just one of the tools in the toolkit, and there are the 12 steps of action on a daily basis. There's the literature, there are people, there are people outside the fellowship who have a great understanding of what it is to be sober and have a spiritual life. So it, it actually becomes a toolkit of life. You know, where do we get our wisdom from? From the experience of doing, the greatest teacher, and then those around us. And if we are able to listen, we get a bit further and make a bit more progress. And sometimes we go backwards and have to revisit. Anyway, the reading for today, for today in this book, Daily Reflections, all about step two in February, a glorious release. The minute I stopped arguing, I could begin to see and feel. Right there, step two gently and very gradually begin, began to infiltrate my life. I can say upon that occasion, or upon, I can't say upon what occasion or upon what day I came to believe in a power greater than myself. But I certainly have that belief now. To acquire it, I had only to stop fighting and practice the rest of AA's program as enthusiastically as I could. Yeah, the higher power, all around me, wisdom of life wisdom of others, love. And he goes on to say, after years of indulging in a self-willed run riot, step two became, for me, a glorious release from being all alone, that is, running the show on my own terms. Nothing is so painful or insurmountable in my journey now. Someone who is always there to share life's burdens with me. Step two became a reinforcement with God, or good conscience, depending on your viewpoint. And I now realise that my insanity and ego were curiously linked. Yes, the madness of thinking I could get it all right myself. To rid myself of the former, I must give up the latter. To one, I must give up the latter to one with far broader shoulders than mine. And the far broader shoulders than mine is the world, the universe, nature, providence, and truth. God is truth, God is love, God works through people. So when I say the serenity prayer at the end of my videos, to God or to good conscience, as we understand, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, for me, is just for today.